Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chasing Financial Freedom. We hope that you join us in this epic adventure to become financially free. We know that it's not going to be easy, it's not going to be fast, but the stock market is the best vehicle other than business to reach that goal. Of course, you can go in many ways. You can go investing in growth stock like Tesla, or you can go safer investing in dividend stocks. All the way down, you, we have to choose our winners. And what about Tesla? Uh, a lot of people is asking, are asking us, what do we think about Tesla and what should we expect in the future from this company? Okay, so the first thing that we have to acknowledge is that First of all, the whole market is down. We have the S&P 500 down almost 1%. We have the Dow down 0.43% and we have the Nasdaq down 2%. So the whole market is down. In a way, we're getting a little bit crashed. But if we look at the, at the technical analysis, the technical charts, we can see we have actually analyzed that in another in another episode that is dedicated for the stock market for the uh, only for the uh, index market so we are under the uh, 15 move 50 weeks moving average we're down so it is natural to assume that we will probably move up soon because if there are no bad news if there are no black swan events like the crisis of last year there is no special reason to go down and with, if you look with the, with the, with the uh, one day chart you can see here that we have seen a stable pattern of growth and that, right now we have seen a little bit of decline we have seen again uh, something similar happening that has happened in november in mid-october november you can see here we've moved away from the 50 week moving average and so we fall i mean this is the 200 moving 200 week moving average and this is the 50 week moving average so we are we are again and we have seen here that we were going under and here we are needing that position as well we still believe that uh without some good news or some big news example for example we've had a great news today that the fed is going to continue buying uh, buying the derivatives so this is actually good news so we still believe that there there is still uh, growth ahead of us so we're going to be uh, we still believe that we're going to be near this uh, 50 week moving average that the big players don't want to lose their money and what about Tesla? Tesla is a growth company. Tesla is not a classical car company. We can see that the whole EV sector is down and Tesla has actually begun this race down. It has started with Bitcoin and the problem probably was that most of Wall Street did not like the move. We, for example, in our analysis, did not like the move as well. Many people were commenting that if they wanted to invest in Bitcoin, they would have done that by themselves. On the plus side, we can say that Tesla has made an okay move with buying Bitcoin because it has made some friends in the uh, cryptocurrency sphere. And if some people and uh, probably some people made profits with bitcoin they would probably they will probably remember elon and they will put some gains in its tesla we still believe that tesla in the future is going to create the tesla coin because if elon musk believes that uh, bitcoin is going to be successful uh, and that people are going to buy in bitcoin then we we probably he will probably do another uh, coin for himself as he has done for space flight 
and for the banking industry in the past and as has done for the EV industry of course. Here we have the support line at the moment. We have the daily chart, we can look at the 5 minute chart and here you can see that this line still holds. It is, if you look at the one day pattern, you can see here that it is a strong support line. We have, even though we have fallen uh, for a moment below the entry price at the S&P 500, it has to be said that it is still cyclical. We are seeing the Bollinger Bands that are widening and here you can clearly see that the Bollinger Band, it, uh, this price, it, it is a lot out of the uh, out of the Bollinger Band so here it was normal to see a uh, pull up and here if you look at it we are we are uh, going to move uh, to this uh, average 200, uh, 200 average even though it is better to look only at the 15 week moving average and here we are moving inside this uh, line if you put the moving average back so it is you can see here clearly see here that we have uh, we have uh, the low of the day and we have the high of the day it is if you look here if you have if you have bought here at 620 and sold here at around 770 you would have made more than 80 dollars per share so if you bought 10 shares here at this price you would have made around 900 dollars which is not bad for one day of trade so tesla stock can still give you a lot even though even if you trade it daily because it is a stock that is volatile it is a stock that moves uh, around much we still believe that uh, tesla is going to create its its tesla coin we still believe that Tesla is uh, the stock of the future. We still believe that Elon Musk is going to make huge changes to the world. We still believe that they're innovating at a faster pace than anyone else. And we still believe that in the long run, they're going to outperform everyone. We still believe that in about uh, two years time, Tesla will see uh, a price of $1,250. We believe that it is uh, going SpaceX, if they're going to merge SpaceX and Tesla under one umbrella company, it is going to be a huge corporation, it is going to be a very successful corporation, and we still believe that we are going to see a huge amount of, of exponential growth for this company. So we still believe that there is uh, 2x to make in the near future, if you're an investor. And of course, it's not financial advice, but uh, as usual for entertainment purposes only. But these lines here, if you look at the lines, the Bollinger Band has widened so much without any bad news. So the stock market was down generally. It would be safe to assume that when this huge gap uh, occurred, it would be great to move in. So for trading related things, you would have made a killing right now, right here. Here we have the VWAP area that is actually uh, acting now as a support line, which is good. We have this channel that the Tesla is moving right now. We are seeing the widening of this channel. And just because we are, we are uh, under the 200, uh, two, um, 200 weeks uh, moving average and the 50 week moving average, we still believe that we should see a move up. We still believe that with some good news, with some great news from Elon Musk, and when all this is done, when the stimulus check comes in, when we have a much more positive out outlook for the future of the pandemic and so on. So with great news, we still believe that we should see a bounce back. And we believe that uh, this stock, if we look at the lines, it's not probably going to happen tomorrow, but we still believe that it is going to move inside this channel and we still believe that it is going to move up from this channel. And we still believe that in 
probably in one month to three months time when the EV sectors sector is coming back we're going to see Tesla up again because again nothing much has changed even though we have cashed in some of the future gains of this company but again it is uh, a futuristic company it is a company that uh, holds a great promise for the future of humanity and it is not to be uh, undermined so you should never never ever uh, go against Elon Musk and we strongly believe in him and until next time we can say that it is even though it is a bear market you can still make money from Tesla and from the other stuff we hope that you gained some good insights some good knowledge we hope that you achieve financial success and financial freedom uh, as soon as possible so we are happy that you are with us on this uh, great epic journey until next time we wish you a great day and take care